Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about fighters that coming up December 2nd that need a big, big statement win. I used to do this all the time. Views wise, it doesn't typically do great, but there's a lot of fighters on this upcoming card that really, really need a statement win win so hopefully if you guys enjoy subscribe like comment let me know if you guys disagree if you agree if you think there's some fighters that i'm missing but there's a lot of fighters on this card that really need a statement win now first we're starting off with jared gooden jared gooden absolutely at this point in his career 22 wins nine losses i believe he's yeah he's one in four in the ufc but he has 18 finishes now we've only seen that one win was a flatline knockout in the UFC, which was Nicholas Stoltz, who he flatlined in about a little over a minute in round number one. He looked really, really good in that fight. Obviously finished him in under two, a minute and a half. You know, he's had a hard time with uh, uh, better technical more strikers you know like impa kasung and i finished him is the only person to actually finish him. i think he's actually been finished twice by punches yeah but it's the first person to finish him in a long long time came back fought carlson harris didn't really look great in that fight but also was a very short notice now he's fighting wellington terman and you know it kind of goes the same way you know jared gooden like i said he's 29 years old he'll be 30 in december three days after this fight he really really needs a win because if he gets cut again from the ufc we probably never see him back in the ufc this is his last chance next we have wellington Terman, and honestly has to be on this list is only 27 years old is on a two-fight losing streak some people thought he he won his last fight with randy brown i guess there's an argument there that could be made you know fair he's three and five in the ufc it did beat Misha Sarkinov, but Sarkinov was winning that fight. Uh, beat Sam Alvey in a pretty bad eye gouging thing in that one, eye pokes. Um, and then beat Marcus Perez, where it's Marcus Perez, not great. Lost to Carl Robeson, Andrew Sanchez, Bruno Silva, Andre Petrovsky, who just manhandled him in the third. And then lost to Randy Brown. Now, he did look pretty good in that Randy Brown fight. Uh, showed some new wrinkles training with Glover and Alex Pereira and all of those guys. So that's that's a very, very good sign, you know. Actually did for Carlson Harris back in 2016, back in Immortal FC. Wellington Terman needs to show something. He has never been cut, obviously, but he's 3-5. and five. This is his ninth fight in the UFC. You can't think he's going to get many opportunities, especially if he loses this fight. <clears throat> and unless he goes on some incredible run outside of the UFC, we're probably never going to see him again in the UFC as well. Next is Jakar Close, 13-2 in one, 35 years old. He'll be 36 years old in March. This is a guy that doesn't fight often. He does when he does fight. He's 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 all right. He's not terrible. He's not great. But he's 35 years old. He'll be 36. You got to show something. You got to attempt to make this run. He had his big chance when he fought Benil Dariush. He did hurt Benil and then Benny uh, knocked him out, which was awesome. Very good for Benny. But at this point, you're ranked 22nd in lightweight, which rankings are weird, of course. And you're fighting a guy that's ranked well below you. You got to start putting this shit together. How long are you going to fight? Until you're 40? That gives you only four years you got to start putting it together. Jokar Close absolutely needs to uh, make a statement with this coming up upcoming fight. Next is Cody Brundage. Cody Brundage started off his career very, very well. You know, and he started off his career, career in the UFC, I believe, with a couple wins. Well, uh, actually, he lost to Nick Maximoff first off. But he beat Dolce, beat Deshaun Gore, and then went on a three-fight losing streak and should have lost to Jacob Malkoon, uh, babied his way into a victory on that one, coward, um, and two of those were uh, were finishes, Fiera and Michelle, and then Dumas, he kept going for guillotine and losing off of his back and that one, <coughs> which is bad because Dumas is not very good, so whatever, I guess, but Cody Brundage, again, he is only 29 years old, I get that, he'll be 30 next year, but the way that his career has been going and the trajectory of it, of course, he needs to figure it out. Because again, 
being where his record is and where his age is, by the time he's 30, 31, if he loses this one, he'll be 9-6. and six. He'd have to go on like a five-fight win streak and, you know, dominating finishes. He would have to absolutely assert himself back in the thinking eye of the UFC. So he really needs this win. And not only that, he needs an impressive one because we've seen fighters as of late win and still get cut, even if it didn't make sense. Still has happened. Next is Misha Tate, former champion. She's one in four in her last five fights, like I said in my prediction videos. She's been finished five times out of her nine losses. You know, she looked really bad against Lauren Murphy. Didn't look great against Caitlin Vieira. Looked okay against Marion Renee Renault, but Marion Renault was also 40 years old in that fight. She just doesn't look good anymore. And and that, that she doesn't flow as well as she did. She once did before she retired. She just isn't the same fighter as she was. She doesn't have pop on her punches. Again, she doesn't flow. The fight, the girl that she's fighting this weekend is she hits very hard. She's uh, cardio is a little suspect sometimes. But Misha Tate at 37 years old, she'll be 37 years old next year. If she loses this, she's 19 and 10 on a three fight losing streak. Where do you go? Do you fight Michelle Watterson because? I don't understand the trajectory of your career. You came back to fight for a title. You're not going to fight for a title if you keep losing. And she doesn't look good while losing. It'd be different if she was looking good in moments and then she loses, you know, like a split decision or something. All right, we can talk about that. But Misha Tate absolutely needs a statement win. <coughs> God damn it. Next is Puna Haley Soriano and Dustin Solskjaer. Both of these fighters absolutely need a win. You know, Puna Haley was 8-0 at one time. Did fight Brandon Allen, which I don't agree with that matchup at all. But lost to Nick Maximoff, which was a split. Shouldn't have been a split. Beat uh, uh, Dolce, which is a good victory, but Dolce is not great. Did finish him on the feet, which is awesome. But was destroyed by Roman Kopilov. Is a huge favorite in this matchup, which... I think it's a little weird because of how the trajectory of him has been. But Dustin is not a great striker. He is a pretty good grappler. Cardio is a little weird for someone who is a good grappler like him. You know, at 32 years old, 31, 1 and 4 for Dustin. Honestly, surprised he's still in the UFC, to be honest. He must be taking fights left and right, to be honest. Because I don't really know why he'd still be in there unless he was taking fights right after fights. You know, if he's like stepping up on short notice and he's doing all these things, why is he still in the UFC unless that, and those reasons. So, both of these fighters, absolutely. If Dustin gets cut from the UFC, we'll never see him again. Puna Haley Soriano gets cut from the UFC, we will never see him again. Unless they, want, unless they don't want to keep their job in the UFC, if they want to keep it, they need a statement win. Big, big, big. They need a statement win. Both of those guys. And then next we have uh, Kelvin Gaslam. Kelvin Gaslam now has this is this will be his twenty seventh fight. Is thirty two years old, of course. You know, <coughs> is coming off the Chris Curtis win. Is dropping down a weight class where he was very successful. Only lost to uh, Neil Magny and Tyron Woodley down here. Looked really really good down in that weight class. <coughs> God damn it. You know, Kelvin Gaslam at this point in his career needs to make a statement. Now, Sean Brady is not necessarily in the same boat, but he is getting there in that same boat. Kelvin Gaslam needs to go out there and look like old Kelvin Gaslam. He needs to look like vintage Kelvin. Good movement, consistent, not just one round of good movement. He needs to, you know, not necessarily show that iron chin because Sean Brady doesn't hit very hard at all. But Kelvin Gaston needs to go out there and needs a statement. Even if he doesn't get a finish, he needs to attempt to go for finishes. He needs to show that killer instinct like he used to uh, back in this weight class before. Kelvin Gaston absolutely on this weight on this uh, video, on this list. Next is Rob Font. And Rob Font is absolutely again on this list. 36 years old. He'll be 37 in, uh, let's see. What is that? January, February, March, April, May, June. <laughs> He'll be 37 in June. You know, 20 and 7. But he's 1 in 3 in his last 5 fights. 
That's it. He's one and three. Yeah, now I get he's fought some very good uh, opponents for sure. Looked terrible against Cody Sanhagen. Looked good at moments with Vera, but then just didn't look good at all. Then looked good in moments again against Jose Aldo, and then just shattered towards the end of every single round. It was the wildest thing I've ever seen. You know, Rob Font, at this point in his career, number eight, if you go out there and you finish Figueredo, or you put a beat down on him, you insert yourself into, okay, top five fights. Not saying they're top five, but top five matchups. <coughs> Next is Bobby Green. The reason why Bobby Green's on this list is because Bobby Green is 37. He'll be 38 uh, next September. So a little bit of ways, but still. You know, I love Bobby Green. I want Bobby Green to win. But at this point in his career with two wins, this is his chance. And number 11, lightweight. This is his chance to make that step up. Blow past that other competition and make a run to that title. And again, even if he doesn't win, that is a successful run. It's 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 okay if a fighter at his age makes this crazy run and fights for a title. Maybe he loses. Okay, you attempted. You got your title shot. That's what it is. Now, of course, they want to win. That's not what I'm saying at all. Of course, but Bobby Green. Bobby Ryan Green, that is not the middle name I thought he was going to have, but Bobby Green absolutely needs a decisive win in this one. Simply because Jalen Turner is a lot younger than Bobby Green, he's like nine years younger or something like that, Bobby Green needs to go through him, call his shots, and keep the momentum going unless it's a split decision again and he loses a split and he can hop right back in there <coughs> then it doesn't mean anything it, it, you know he needs to go statement and make a run for this title next is uh is you know benio dariush has to be benio dariush love benny but he's 34 years old he'll be 35 in april wait may i mean May, he'll be 35 years old. He's number three right now. He can not lose this fight. If he loses this fight, might as well call it quits. I wouldn't be surprised if he retires in the octagon. But Neil Darius has to act like this This fight is, is backpack. Has to. Everything holds on this fight. Everything is complacent on this fight. You have to win it. There's no other options. You can't lose and then draw up another run. You'll be 35. It, they, the UFC didn't give you a title shot when you had 12 fights in a row. <coughs> or, it was 12, right? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 fights. Yeah. When you had 8 fights in a row, y you didn't get a title shot. You can't lose this fight. Benio Dariush, last person on this list, needs a win. A dominating win. As always, guys, if you agree, if you disagree, let's talk about it down there in the comment section. As always, peace.